All right, guys, so in today's video, let's talk about when to exit a trade. You've done all the analysis, you think you've done everything right, but price isn't going your way. Let's find out when it makes sense to exit a trade. All right, guys, so what I have up is a uh, four hour chart of the five year US Treasury note, also known as ZF on the Thinkorswim platform, depending on whatever broker you use, it might be a little bit different. But what we have here are the three things that we need to make a trade. We have the line of least resistance down, we have an impulse inside of it, and we have momentum um, on our side. So we have the drop, base, 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 drop, and in the line of least resistance, there are two things that we are looking for inside of that line. And number one is a drop base drop, or number two is a rally base drop. So here we have a drop base drop. As we approach into that level, we, our momentum is on our side, meaning that the RSI is telling us that the momentum is not strong enough to likely breach this level. So what do we do? I advise all of our traders to take this short because of those three reasons. Now, once we get in the trade, how we manage it is absolutely critical. This is what separates good traders from great traders. All right, so let's dive in. What we have here is once we enter into the level, immediately the trade starts going our way, right? We push down from the level and the next candle over on the four hour level, we make a new low. So, and we close and we don't have a new high, all right? But overnight, what happens is we grind into this level. We grind into this level and that's not what you want to see as a trader. Now, at one o'clock this morning, I'm an early riser, guys. I wake up at 3, 3.30 every single morning, no matter what, like clockwork. I've done it for years. I wake up and I see that price is down here. I say, okay, we might be headed in the right direction here, even though we've started to grind. But we failed to make a new low. And so what did I do? As soon as we came back up here and closed, I exited that position. And the reason why is because that line of least resistance on the smaller time frame is telling me that we don't have the momentum to carry ourselves further down. This type of exit from a level is not what you want to see if you think you're going to be right on a trade. So instead of taking a $3,500 risk here on six contracts on ZF, I got out one tick above losing about 45 bucks, 43.75, something like that. Just as we closed here, and what do you know? Price is rallying deeper and deeper into the level. So my point here, and now look, guys, we are above 60 on the RSI. So we might have a pullback, but if we do have a pullback, we're unlikely to break these new lows and continue higher. So that trend is starting to change, okay? This trend is starting to change from this downward side into more of an upward fashion. And I do not want to be short under any circumstances when that happens. So I got out, I took a very, very small loss, and now price is rallying very deep into that level. So guys, a couple things here. Number one is we have to trade a line, a line, uh, along the line of least resistance. We have to look for those impulses. We have to measure momentum. But once we're in that trade, if price action is not showing us what we need to see, managing the trade becomes very, very, very important. So we got out, we got out of break even, and that is half of the battle, all right? You're not gonna win every single trade. You're not gonna be right on every single time that you wanna make a trade, but understanding when to take a trade how to manage it, how to get out of it is absolutely critical. If you have any questions, please submit them in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer them. But knowing when to get out of a trade is so, so, so important. It's a mistake that many, 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 most traders make. Guys, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to check out this video here about our three things that matter in trading and over here about everything in trading involved. If you liked this video, give us a subscribe, give us a like, and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, take it easy.